Hey there YouTube, CJ here with the Straight Bait with another how-to video. Today we're going to upgrade the firmware on a Cuboid E-Grip 2, Cuboid Mini, or the Evic VTC2, or whatever. Pretty much anything Joytech, including RX200s. So with that said, let's get to it. Oh, wait, no, let's not get to it just yet. Don't forget, join Casal.org, notblowingsmoke.org. Fight for your vaping rights. The FDA is trying to shut it all down. And if they do, then this video and all the other ones are going to be pretty much pointless. So, Kasa.org people, do that. Now let's get to it. Alrighty, peeps. So, this is the Cuboid. My, my trusted and beloved Cuboid. It's actually a little dinged up, but... That's neither here nor there. But we're going to do the uh, firmware upgrade to uh, what 3.13, I think is the most current version. We're going to do some uh, screen capture time. I'm going to show you how to actually you know, find the software, download it, extract it, blah, 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 all that stuff. I don't know how we're going to do this. Maybe like a little picture-in-picture -picture thing, side-by-side. -side. I don't know. But anyway, maybe we should dive down and get the software first. Then we'll come back to this. Hey there everybody, so here we go, we're going to upgrade your Cuboid, Keyboard Mini, or E-Grip 2, or even Evic uh, V2, uh, pretty much any of them. You're going to go up here to soft or to support while you're at joyetech.com. You're going to hit support, then you're going to go to, down here to software download. Then you're going to choose which, which you, what you have, E-Grip 2, Cuboid Mini, Cuboid, Evic VTC. I'm going to do Cuboid because that's what I happen to have at the moment. You're going to choose the firmware version. The, this is the latest, whether you're on a Mac or Windows. I'm going to do Windows, and I'm on a Windows 10 machine right now. So we're going to click Windows. I'm going to just save it to my desktop and hit Save. And it downloads. It's not that big a file. It's a pretty small file. So we can get out of there. So now we have everything we need. Now we're going to go to Joytech. It says update firmware. <clears throat> and what you're going to want to do is uh, right click that zipped file that you just downloaded and extract all. So you hit extract all to, you can select wherever you want. I'm just, I'm going to do, uh, you know what, I'm just going to do uh, right onto the desktop. Select folder. So it's going to create a new one and extract. And there we go. It's all done. So it doesn't take long at all. Uh, so where'd it go? It went to, yep, that's my software, and that's my, that's my, uh, this is what it extracted right here. So when you do that, you're going to see update firmware. This is the actual program, the software, and this is the firmware that you need. So open this up, and you can see it says, it just says update firmware 1.20. 1.20 is the version of the software. And now I'm going to plug in my cuboid. And there it says cuboid. Of course, I've already updated this, but it, it shows you the version you're on, the hardware version. So you hit update. And now you select where is your firmware. So it's right here, cuboid v3.13. You hit open. A little window will pop up. Firmware update completed. OK. And boom, that's it. You're done. Super, super simple. It works the same exact way for all of the all of these products including the RX 200 so which is also uh, Joytech uh, software so that's it let's go on out. all right so that's how you extract and everything so the cuboid believe it or not you can do this with no batteries in it there's no batteries in there nothing at all you just have to make sure that your your USB cable sorry I got a cough drop your USB cable is a power and data because if you ever if you plug your cuboid in and it does nothing um, like it doesn't show up it doesn't you know the software doesn't recognize it then it's a charge only cable there are USB cables that don't have data in them so this is actually one for one of my remotes here at the house but uh, when I plug this in whoop, you see it lights up and there's no batteries no batteries but it lights up so you can you can still do the firmware update with or without batteries it doesn't matter it doesn't even matter if the if it's on or off it can be on with batteries in it and you can still do a firmware upgrade so um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you just have to make sure your cable is power and data. 
plug it, you know, load up the software, plug it in, like I showed you in the in the on screen there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's super, super simple. So uh, again, you can do that with the Cuboid, Cuboid Mini, e, the new eGrip 2, the Evic VTC, and I've done the same exact thing, RX 200. Uh, the software for the RX 200, you have to get from Wizmax website, um, but the, that same exact software is all will also be included with it, or um, you can just use that same software from the Joytech site. It's the same exact thing. So at any rate, I hope you liked this video. Um, and if you did, give it the old thumbs up, leave a comment below, remember to subscribe, and uh, again, fight for your vaping rights, join Casa.org, follow the calls to action for your state, and uh, yeah, keep your vape game strong, people. Until next time, I'll see you later, and I thanks, thanks, and I thanks you, I really do, I thanks you for watching. See you, see you later.